The MSO is a wonderful organization, the first to tour internationally in Australia, so we're pretty proud of this. Tours are extremely important for an organization like the MSO because it is a wonderful opportunity for our musicians to measure themselves against the rest of the world, to be playing in front of new audiences. When we tour, we also represent a country. Through music, we can play a role of a cultural ambassador, and we're very proud of being able to bring two countries, two nations together with the power of music. I think it's absolutely wonderful that the MSO is making this tour so extensive. Six cities in 12 days, a lot of hard work, but they're reaching out and China certainly is more than just Shanghai and Beijing. There are many, many other wonderful cities screaming out to receive our culture and learn more about Australia. And what better way than to listen to a performance by the MSO. In terms of touring internationally, it's so important for the MSO, first and foremost, around performance quality. When the orchestra goes on tour, there's a real buzz around what they're doing and an excitement and it lifts their performances, they bond together as a team whilst they're away. And that lift in performance standards lasts when they come back home to Melbourne and our audiences notice that incredible lift. I just saw the, the half uh, performance uh, this evening. I, I have been shocked. I have a special feeling about it. Uh, also, I saw everybody, the artists there, give the best performance tonight. I hope the symphony can come here again. The Melbourne Symphony Orchestra is one of Victoria's and Australia's greatest orchestras. To be able to bring the MSO to mainland China does everything that we want in relation to that people-to-people -people relationship. To bring a touring party of over 100 people, 86 musicians led by one of the world's great conductors in Sir Andrew Davis means so much for us because we can showcase what we can do. MSO built a bridge of the culture exchange and demonstrate Australia is a multicultural society. The fascinating MSO Chinese Year concert broadcast in China attracts 200 million audience every year. I have been involved with the Australian Chamber Orchestra for about five years. I met Chris Moore, who is the principal viola player at that point. Chris is an impressive player. In fact, I think he's one of the best viola players in the world. Hence the reason why I followed him to the MSO. As an MSO board member, it makes me very proud to see the success they're achieving internationally. Being in Shanghai for the last couple of days has been very special. And to see that what this concert hall is a sellout, people are desperately trying to get tickets, so that says it all. In terms of the outcome from this tour, I very much hope that it's part of a more regular program of touring and engagement that we have here in China. I would like to think that every year we could be doing things here in China in terms of collaborations around sharing of musicians, small ensembles, co-commissioning of work. All of that is part of deepening that relationship and when you think how important Asia and in particular China is to Australia more generally, deepening that relationship can only do wonders for us as an orchestra and for Melbourne and Victoria and hopefully Australia. I think the role of the arts is extremely important. The Australian government has had a cultural counsellor in our embassy here in Beijing from the beginning, and I know state governments also have been supporters of cultural diplomacy. So from my point of view, it's a really valuable part of our overall presentation of Australia as sophisticated, modern, clever, interesting, multicultural country.